Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're taking a look at this new Hog Rider Lightning deck that seems to be going around and increasing in popularity. Not too sure who originally invented it, but I've been seeing it so much over the past couple of days. There's a couple different variations going around with this deck, but for the most part, it's Hog Rider, Tornado, Lightning, with some other cards thrown in there. Some use the Buller, some use the Executioner, a lot of them do use the Baby Dragon as well. Some have faster cycle versions with the Ice Golem and the Musketeer in there, but this is the one we're using today, guys, a no legendary version. If you do have the Log, you can use the Log in place of the Zaspel. In fact, if you are using this deck in Challenges, I would recommend using a Log in there because Log does kill Goblin Barrel, but more than likely, your Zaspel will be high enough level on ladder to kill opponent's Goblin Barrel. So anyways, guys, there's a deck region today. Let's go ahead here, hop into one replay. Then we'll finish off with some live battles. All right, guys, here we go. Facing off against Mr. Cola in the top there. Now, I'm not too sure if he's from the Coca-Cola company or the Pepsi-Cola because he doesn't really indicate in his name unless his name means something else completely and I don't understand it. If it is, I do apologize. But we're going to go ahead and uh, lighten that pump right there. As soon as I see a pump, I automatically assume three musketeer deck because they are so popular right now. And even by using the lightning out of rotation, not on his musketeers, I'm still okay because this deck has so much splash damage in there with the executioner, the baby dragon, as well as the NATO. You still have a lot of answers for his musketeers. So right there on the left hand side, gonna go ahead and protect the uh, executioner with a knight because the executioner doesn't have too much health on him and a double set of musketeers can actually kill him fairly fast, so you have to protect the Executioner on whichever lane has the double Musketeers. And notice how I also used the Tornado Spell there to pull back the Battle Ram. If I didn't, the Battle Ram would have ran in front of the Musketeers, switching the Executioner's angle, and the Executioner wouldn't have killed the Musketeers with his Flash Attack. They would have survived the Knight and then went on to kill the Executioner, doing damage to my tower, so really important that I use the NATO spell there to pull back the Battle Ram. And when you are defending against a uh, Musketeer split with two Musketeers on one side, you have to NATO back the Musketeers because the Musketeers have a longer range than the Executioner does. But the way the Executioner attacks is kind of weird. Whenever he attacks a target, his axe actually goes past, his axe rather, actually goes past the tank up front and to the back. So if they have a knight protecting the musketeers, you have to pull them back away because the executioner with his longer range will still be able to hit the musketeers uh, further away. But if you don't nato them, um, they will outrange the executioner and the knight will run up front and the executioner will die. So very important that you do do that. So he was able to do a bit of damage on the right hand side with that low musketeer. I was kind of expecting him to use the battle ram on the opposite lane to try and switch things up because I wasn't expecting him to do the exact same thing over and over. Now right there, you see a huge failed NATO, hence my crying phase. I was trying to pull the Knight away from the Hog Rider and protect it, and all I really did was kept the Knight within range of the Hog Rider. Not really sure what I was doing, but uh, I can't use the Lightning Spell right there because the Battle Ram is protecting the Musketeers. You have to be very careful using the Lightning Spell on three Musketeers when they are using Battle Ram in their deck because the Battle Ram is the perfect lightning rod to protect the Musketeers. I've done it myself many, many times when I'm using a Musketeer deck. I split them up and then right when I think they're about to use the lightning spell, I drop a Battle Ram in there and it actually soaks up all three lightning hits. So right there, Clutch Lightning coming in play, taking out all the Musketeers. Only one second left and he isn't able to finish my tower off and we hold out for the one crown victory. Anyways guys, let's go ahead here and hop into some live battles. Alright, here we go guys, battle number one, currently sitting at 4600 trophies. I went on a massive tilt of epic proportions yesterday guys. I think I dropped 400 trophies, or 300, something like that. I was testing out some decks, trying things out, and nothing was working. Um, but it was just kind of like weird stuff I was trying out. Let's see, skeletons right here. Um, baby dragon, okay, we'll use the baby dragon to counter- Oh, Shane! <sighs> Wrong lane, Shane. Don't be a nub. But we're gonna go ahead and just lightning this tower. They should meet in the middle there, do they? No, they don't! They they ignore each other. Giving each other the cold shoulder right there, though, eh? But maybe the baby, baby dragon will get some damage done to that tower. I should have used the lightning on the opposite tower because the baby dragon was already going there. And I could have added up more damage to that tower. My bad. My bad indeed. Let's go quick hog rider here. We'll have a zap spell ready for something. 
Skarmy, Skeletons, Mega Minion. Okay, we'll get some damage done. And as you can see there, my beautiful, beautiful new level 10 Hog Rider that I got yesterday in a chest opening video. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly suggest you do. We opened up 50 giant chests, guys. If you were ever wondering what is inside 50 giant chests, check out that video. Now, the Golem will probably do some decent damage by himself, guys. Look at this. By himself, the tower down to 800 just by one Golem. And a Baby Dragon earlier on, but the, the Golem does so much damage even by himself. So maybe the Baby Dragon will get some damage done. No, he's going to counter with his Baby Dragon. So let's go with a quick Hog Rider Knight push right here. We'll have the Zap ready for something. Um, Hog Rider, that should be a dead tower. Can we pull the Lumberjack away from the Hog Rider? Yes, there we go. There we go, guys. Dead tower indeed. But the Golem Lumberjack is a very powerful strategy because the Lumberjack usually doesn't even get to the tower. But the Golem does all the damage with the Rage Effect from the Lumberjack. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he switched lanes here to the left lane. But we are going to put on some counter pressure on this lane right here. I'm not going to worry about that pump just because there's only 50 seconds left. And if I do things successfully here, we shouldn't have to worry about that pump adding up over time. So get some good Hog Rider damage right there. Let's go Execution on the left, just to defend that lane. And then we will try to um, split some Skeletons here. We're going to try and put on some Counter Pressure here, guys. Let's go Knight. Do a Knight right there with another Hog Rider. He's going to do Baby Dragon with some Skeletons. Okay, we're going to ignore the Skellies. Nadal this back. Get to my Knight, please. Kill my Knight. Yes, there we go. There we go, guys. So that should be a dead tower. Pretty close, though, eh? Now, I want to do Baby Dragon here. Going to kill this uh, Golem here in a second. And then... Whoa, nice lightning spell, sir. So, Baby Dragon might finish this tower off. No, no more hits. We're going to lightning right here for the win. And we're going to back this uh, Baby Dragon because we don't want him getting any towers. Good game to our friend STE. Up top there, guys. There we go. Starting things off with a W. I should have let him... Guys, I apologize. STE, if you're watching, I apologize. I should have let your Baby Dragon hit the tower. And giving you one crown because I would have had the victory anyways, but I got nervous. So let's go one more and we might, depending on how I feel, facing up against Mark. Two girls, one golem. I won't ask any more questions, but we might do a challenge battle after this just to see how it does at equal level. Um, a lot of you guys tell me that you, you prefer ladder gameplay, but I do like throwing in challenge gameplay as well. Just because the balance is a bit different, so I might try and do one challenge battle at the end of every video. But we'll kind of see how that goes. How that idea pans out. Alright, you're just cool. No, not the poison. Ay ay. Okay, the baby D should hopefully hit, uh, hit the furnace from across the river. Yes, shoot that furnace. Don't die to the electro wizard. Guys, I can't sing. He's <laughs> one. Yes, baby dragon's still alive. Nice. Kill the furnace, please. Nice. Now we're going to go in here with a quick hog rider. Very fast. Very, very fast hog rider here. Uh, he's going to do Knight Archer's combo. No, we're going to zap these skeletons. Go away, skeletons. Nice. Look at this beautiful level 10 hog rider, guys. Seriously, check out that 50 giant chest, guys. It was amazing. It was beautiful. Just all different things. So let's go skeletons. Yes. Uh-oh. Baby D, kill the GY, please. Don't let them build up. Yes, baby D, doing some work. Um, We're going to let the executioner die. We will support the baby D with a hog rider here. So let's go. Boom. We'll have the zap or the nato ready. The nato is so strong right now, guys. He might give it up. That's good grab, guys. I just said he might give it up. But uh, Mark definitely did give up. So, wow. Two W's. Yeah, guys, as I was saying, I went on a massive tilt yesterday. Let me know in chat if you ever have those days where you literally just tilt. Like, you just can't win a battle. I was using some weird stuff. Like, I was trying Lavaloon heal. Okay, I was trying to and heal, but I had three spells in there, and I had arrows, lightning, and heal spell, and I just found that the three spells, it led to some awkward card rotations where you just couldn't defend anything because you had arrows, lightning, and heal in your hand and, like, balloon, and they would do a hog rider and you had nothing. So I feel like uh, in the future when I test out another Lavaloon heal deck, I'll probably just do two spells, maybe arrows and heal spell. I don't know. If you guys have tried Lavaloon heal, let me know in the comment section below. But we're getting distracted here. Boom. Plus 27 trophies for us. Mr. Mark is now dead, guys. There we go.
But you know what? Let's go ahead and finish off with one more ladder match facing off against Ultimatum, guys. Oh no. That's a very imposing name. Strikes fear in the enemies. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just fooling around here. Guys, can we get some rest in peace, Shane, hi uh, in the chat? In the comments, rather. I'm not doing a live stream today. Can we get some rest in peace, Shane? Ay, ay, ay guys. Look at this. Look at this. Makes me sad, man. <laughs> Why? Why, Mr. Ultimatum? Why? What? My knuckle literally just touched the screen, guys. <laughs> I went to go use Zaspo. And I had my hand kind of like this. I went to go tap, and then my pinky knuckle right there hit the screen. Wow. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Please don't use any more RG's ultimatum, even though I know you probably will. But let's go Baby D right here. Oh, double Baby D action right there, guys. Uh, yeah, where are you going, Knight, huh? Yes, there we go. Kill the Baby D, kill the Knight. Alright, alright, so they should exchange killing blows right there. Killing burps, as I should say, because they're kind of burping, I think. Execution there. So, what do we do here, guys? Do we do... See, this is where the log would be more useful, because the log does kill Goblin Gang, but my Zap doesn't. Um... Come on! No, oh, one more! Come on, get some more Hog Rider hits, one more! Nice! There we go! There we go! Alright, so the RG is just destroying us right there, guys. Makes me feel sad. You just kill the Spear Goblins with your burp! Nasty burp, guys. I, don't, I wonder if how the breath of the Baby D would smell if his burps do that much damage. Alright, let's go execution. No! Alrighty. Could have figured he had that. Let's go. Ready for this, guys? Boom. Boom. What are you, new goblin gang? I don't know why I needed it right there, but still kill the archers, please. Guys, this is gonna be a loss. This is gonna be a loss, guys. We're losing two. This guy, ultimatum, guys. He issued the ultimatum and he delivered on the ultimatum, guys. He issued it and he delivered on that ultimatum because we're dead. We are dead, dead, dead. Okay. What do you got? Furnace. Let's go. Boom. Boom. No more Hog Rider hits. Sad face for Shane. Sad face for Shane, guys. Good game to our friend ultimatum. He, he, he played well. Skeleton lightning rod. No, not quite. Ugh, we're dead. We are now dead, guys. Sad face. Good game. So, now, let's go ahead and hop into that challenge battle here, guys. As I was saying, over here. Look at this challenge, guys. W Elixir, so much gold. This is, like, literally the best challenge ever in the history of Clash Royale. I think you can get, like, 140,000 gold total. But let's hop into a GC right here, guys. That is acronym for Grand Challenge. Now, oh, I should have thrown in Log, because the Log, guys, ouch, this is, it's really weak with the Zap instead of Log on challenges, because you can't kill Goblin Barrel. You need that Log to kill Goblin Barrel on challenges. If you don't have Log, and you are using challenges, um, do, I should have did a Hog Rider push there, I'm not even paying attention here, I'm too busy talking. But use Arrows instead, use Arrows instead of this Zap if you don't have Log. Um, unless you want to use the Bowler version, because Bowler can counter Goblin Barrel. So, uh, yeah, I I knew he was using Three Musketeers. It's such a popular strategy right now. I don't know why I just didn't do an aggressive hog push. Whatever, it happened, guys. It's... It happened. Nice. Okay, Lumberjack, go to the tower. Get three, four... Whoa! That Lumberjack is strong, guys! Can we NATO here? Uh, definitely an unnecessary NATO there, because the Skeletons would have countered the barbs pretty well. Now he's going to do a free pump right here, because that NATO was too much, I think. Um, let's go Hog Rider right here. Can we zap something? What has he got for us? Is that the Goblin? See guys, I need the log in here. I need the log in here. But we did get some Hog Rider hits, but now he's got a free pump. And in, uh, challenge battles with longer overtime, even a pump with a minute left is is uh, trouble. So he does have the battle ram in his deck. And the golem! Guys. Rip. Literally rip. 
Okay, where is your musketeers coming from? I hope he doesn't lightning rod them. Where are they? He's saving up for them, no? You're gonna do this? Okay. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, there we go. Kill that Mr. Golem. Damn, look at this, guys. As I was saying, Lumberjack plus Golem equals dead tower, for sure. Okay, kill it. Now we're gonna do a Hog Rider right here. Zap it! Kill it! Nice, Hog Rider, do work, please. One more hit, Hog Rider, nice. Thank you, Hog Rider, thank you. I love that, guys. We might have a chance here. We have a small chance. But if we can defend for 19 seconds, I don't know guys, with the golem there? Especially because we need to lightning the musketeers, we can't lightning the tower just yet. But you know what, let's just go YOLO guys, YOLO. There we go, nail us back. Don't you dare! Good game guys, wow! Oh, just by barely, by barely guys. Coming out with a victory right there, 469 health on our tower. Thank you Mr. Name that I forgot. Anyways, guys, there is the deck one more time if you want to go ahead and copy it. Like I said before, there are a couple different variations of this deck. Some use the Bowler in place of the Executioner. Some use like an Ice Golem and Musketeer combo right here for fast recycling. And on Ladder, I would say use the Zaspel. Or if you have Log, go ahead and use it. But for challenges, you do want something that can kill Goblin Gang and uh, Goblin Barrel. So use a Log or Arrows if you don't have the Log. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.